Hi YouTube family, Tony Spera from the Warren's Occult Museum again. Just want to show you a little bit more items, a little up close and personal. Some of the things that are in this museum that Ed had. Of course he had a lot of masks, as you can witness here. And there's a really cool looking mask here. And then over here, like typical Halloween looking masks. But then, as Ed would explain it to me, he told me about people that would try to replicate these masks by putting the mask on their heads and then concentrating on the image of what the mask looked like through different incantations and prayers. Uh, Black like witchcraft would try to replicate that mask. In other words, when they took the mask off, their face would look just like the mask, creating something through a thought process called a topa. Topa, mind over, like a mind over matter type of a thing. And here's a uh, little uh, sign that Ed made up. There's a painting in the back that Ed had done. Over here is a creature from the Brookfield Demon Murder Case, which is what The Conjuring 3 is going to be about. And uh, that's coming up in September of 2020. Here's a uh, tabletop that Ed happened to just like, so he, he did a painting of a haunted house. There it is right here. Red one. Right there. Also, there's a, a Bible and a crucifix on top. Over here, there's some artifacts that were collected over the years. As you can see, a lot of artifacts. I don't know if you can hear it outside, but it's storming outside. A lot of wind, a lot of rain coming through. Today's April 21st, 2020, and we're in Connecticut. Look at all these objects collected over the years. Now that's the satanic, uh, used in satanic rituals, a human skull used in actual satanic rituals. Of course, a Ouija board, which Ed would advocate never to use. I could do a whole segment on a Ouija board, actually, because it's very, very dangerous. It's a way to communicate with the unknown realm. And when you do things like that, when you ask a favor of an unknown entity. You don't know who you're asking the favor of. And aren't you asking for favors when you ask questions like, you know, is my grandfather here or uh, can you turn on a light? You're asking for a favor. And when you ask for a favor, people usually want something in return. And if they're not very nice, that something in return might be a haunting. Here's a, a Victorian, old Victorian lady and a couple got this uh, in an antique store, a young couple, and about a week and a half after they got it, what they did is when they bought it, they said, you know, we'll tell everybody who comes over that it's our Aunt Matilda as a joke. But the joke was on them because a couple weeks after they got it, Aunt Matilda started showing up as as uh, an entity walking through the house, through the hallways. Here's some other items. Here it is the book, The Demonologist. A hardcover book, the first real edition of the book that Ed and Lorraine had out. It's a very good book. The Werewolf book, which is very good. That looks almost like a werewolf on the wall there, doesn't it? Over here is the movie doll. Creepy looking movie doll of Annabelle from the Annabelle series movies. Now they use a lot more than one Annabelle doll. They made several different iterations of the doll that had a different look on her face. But this is one of them, one of the movie dolls. Another creepy doll that Ed had gotten from someone who said that they bought this at a tag sale and a couple days later weird stuff started to happen in the house and they attributed it to, of course, the doll. I mean, I probably would too if nothing happened and all of a sudden all kinds of stuff happened. A voodoo doll from Africa, a real voodoo doll over 100 years old. This is a New England witchcraft doll right there. This is a mask, supposedly, of a vampire from Transylvania. Right here. There's an old Philco radio that 
it got from somebody. It's not haunted, it's just an artifact, it's just an item in the museum. This is a succubus, uh, an image of a painting of a succubus. Now, a succubus is a devil that attacks the male sexually, physically. Uh, and if it was, a, if it was a, an attack on the female, you'd call it an incubus. But a devil has no gender. But we just assign it a name. So when it attacks the male, we call it a succubus. Now the Ouija board here. And uh, some posters on the wall here. And a little horror poster. And over here is uh, pictures of famous people that's come to visit the museum. There's Demi Lovato had come to see Lorraine. And I said, you want to go see the museum? And she said, yes. She was a very, very nice person. I can't say enough nice things about her. She's kind of shy, you know. She didn't, uh, she, she was afraid to almost talk in a way. She talked to Lorraine, but she was kind of a very shy, but polite girl. And this is uh, Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga outside the museum. Took, he took a selfie. Over here is Dave Navarro from the, the uh, Inc. TV show. And that's me, of course, with him. And that's his girlfriend. Here's, here's uh, Patrick next to the doll. There's another picture of, of Demi, who's given a scary face. And then we have Vera Farmiga, very lovely lady. She was one of the nicest people that you'd ever want to meet in person. She's not, uh, you know, stuffy or anything. She's very nice. These are some gargoyles that it had. And an angel hanging on here. Over here, we have the White Lady of Union Cemetery. You can read all about her, the White Lady of Union Graveyard. She uh, appeared to a lot of people. This is just a mannequin representation of the White Lady. But she appeared to a lot of people, but nobody knows her identity. It seems that if, as if she's trying to tell someone what happened to her. This is the Witch of Monroe, Hannah Crana. Some of you guys out there know of a music group that was short-lived, but around in the 90s called Hannah Crana. That's where they got the name for their music group from this witch, Hannah Crana. You can read about her. This is a shadow doll here. Um, a doll of shadows, I'd call it, made out of uh, paper mache, bird feathers, uh, animal parts, animal bone, uh, a human tooth. This is made to uh, do bad, to do harm to people through incantations and witchcraft. And uh, I'll do a whole segment on her at some point. This is a satanic idol that was found in a woods in Sandy Hook, Connecticut, back in 1991 maybe by a deer hunter, a satanic worship idol, in fact. And there are fertility dolls on the wall over here. Let me get to them. Fertility dolls from Africa. Right here, real fertility dolls from Africa. And over here, of course, we have Annabelle, the real Annabelle doll. Don't let anybody kid you, ladies and gentlemen, out there. Nobody in Australia, Argentina, Brazil, Mexico, nowhere has the doll or has been has been loaned the doll. The doll is here in Connecticut, locked away in a glass case with high security around it. And uh, no one has ever taken the doll, and I've never given the doll out to loan, ever. And here's a conjuring mirror, a mirror where a gentleman tried to conjure spirits. And many, many other dolls that are said to be haunted. People who have acquired these items. And after they acquired these items, had terrible things happen to them. And there's the haunted glass eyes. These are prosthetic eyes, glass eyes from the 1850s. This is the power of the black magic of the black cat, black magic of the cat. These are um, pearls of death necklaces. Borley Brick from Borley Rectory in England, one of the most haunted places. 
in England. This is an evil board. It's called the Death Curse Board. You can read it what it says there. So that was a quick overview of the museum, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't go into detail, but at a later time I will. But this is it. This is the Occult Museum. So for now, I'm going to sign off. Thank you for, uh, for watching this. Thanks.